tough. A lot of these puzzles are going to be really difficult and you're going to make mistakes. Now I realize some of you already beat this level, but I just wanna go over your thought process when you're doing these levels and what you need to do when you make mistakes on them. So the first thing you need to do is make sure you understand the problem. And all of these puzzles, we have to get all of the gems first and then we need to get our pet. So that's understanding the problem. Then I need to get a plan for solving that problem. So I need to figure out exactly where I need to get Gracie to go to get all these gems first and then get the pet. So I use my code to do that. So Gracie's starting right here. The first thing I'm going to need to do is go this way. So I use that command here turn my arrow that way. So that puts Gracie right here. I like to use my pointer or my finger to show exactly where Gracie is going to be each step of the way. The next thing I'm going to want to do is jump up here and grab all those gems. So I'm going to put that command up here. I'm going to jump up and I can go back to the beginning and just make sure my code's right. So at the start, I'm going to walk left and then I'm going to jump left and get all those gems. And then I'm going to go right. Cause I ended up right there. I go right, that puts me right down here. And then I wanna go right again and right again. That will put me right there at that gem. So right, right, and that puts me right there. And then I will jump right and that will put me at the pet. So before I get to my next phase, which is the test, I just want to go through my plan and make sure it works like I think like I think it's going to. So I start out here. My first command is run left, then jump left, get all those gems, run right, run right, run right, and then jump right. So my plan seems like it's going to work. The next thing I do is I test my plan. To test my plan, I give Gracie a poke and she goes through the plan. Whenever I test my plan, I learn. I learn if it worked or I learned if it didn't. If it works, that's awesome. If it doesn't work, I need to figure out what was right and keep it and figure out what was wrong and remove it. So I'm going to give Gracie a poke and we're going to learn how my plan worked. So let's see how it, worked, how it went, how it goes. So she jumps left. Ooh, she didn't get that point up there. So I'm not going to get all three stars. So at this point, I need to go back and redo this level because I didn't get all three stars. And when I come back to here, I don't just want to get rid of all my code. I don't want to just get rid of everything because some of it was right. So what I want to do is I want to give Gracie another poke and I want to see right where it messes up, right where the mistake was made. So I'm going to give Gracie a poke this time and you watch and see if you can see where the code isn't right. So give the poke, she goes over, so everything's good, and then right there. So after that point right there, it didn't work out. So I'm going to fix, I'm going to keep what was right and remove everything else that wasn't right. Now here's something else for you to realize. When you give Gracie a poke, as soon as you see like right there, that's where the mistake is. I can already go to my curly arrow and I can already restart it. So I don't have to let her go the whole way through. So she went left, jumped left, and didn't get all of those. So I need to make sure that right here that I jump up and get that one. So I'm going to put another command in there and have her jump up and get that last one. So, so now we're planning again. And then I'm going to test again. So before I test, I want to make sure my plan seems right. So I always use my pointer or my finger to show exactly where Gracie is going to be. So I follow my code, my sequence there. She runs left, jumps left, gets those two. Then she jumps up right there. She jumps up and gets that coin and then runs right, runs right, runs right and jumps right. So now this time it should work. And if it does, that's awesome. But if it doesn't, I'm going to go through those steps again. I'm going to see what worked and fix what doesn't work. I don't just want to get rid of all my code. I want to keep what works.
All right, so that time I got three stars. So boys and girls, remember, all the puzzles, you need to get all the gems first, then the pet. That's understanding the problem. Then you need to make sure you get a plan. That's where you're putting your code down. And then after your code's down, test it by giving Gracie a poke. If you made it, awesome. If you didn't, figure out what works and keep it. Figure out what doesn't work and change it. Good luck on these puzzles.